Went to the Goodwill outlet yesterday. I got a whole bunch of goodies. Hey, Becky dog. Becky dog. There she is. Woof, woof. Woof. Yep, it's morning. The sun's just coming up and the birds are all up in the sky. So that's what that, all that noise is. We can grab the first bag here. We got a bunch of stuff. We'll go over to the picnic table. Alright, got my coffee. I'm ready to turn to this, this batch of goodies. Got some cool stuff. I actually threw back a whole bunch. I, my Goodwill outlet store here is, it runs $1.49 a pound, but if you get over 50 pounds, it goes down to 99 cents. I did not achieve 50 pounds yesterday, but I got some good stuff anyway. Oh, all of the bedding is always half off, so any bedding or sheets are 75 cents. First thing I found was this cool book. Looks like a pretty old book. 1958. Just all dimensional drawing, different techniques. I like to look through these. Plus it's just a good vintage book to have. So that's the only book I got. Speaking of birds, I got all sorts of seagulls up there going, going to town. I live by the coast. Yeah, look at this tea towel, 1974. It's got birds and cardinals. So that's cool. Vintage tablecloth, is it tablecloth? Yeah, it's vintage tablecloth. It's in need of repair. I don't know what this fabric is, probably some early synthetic, but just beautiful print. It's stained. It's going in the wash. I'm going to see if I can get those stains out. I'm going to get some OxyClean out. If not, I'll cut it up for something. Um, any of these vintage linens that I'm going to show you today, I'm going to be putting on my Etsy for sale and they're going to be stored on my Etsy until I'm ready to make something with them. So if you see something that catches your eye, you are welcome to it before I do anything with it. That's feels like cotton or linen. Looks like a table runner. It's got stains. Same thing, I'm gonna try to get stains out. If not, I'm gonna uh, cut out some of the nice parts, use it in another project. It's got beautiful lace around the outside. Cotton crochet doily. Oh, the dog's chasing the birds now, that's good. It looks like this was manufactured. There's an old tag. Maybe not manufactured, but sold commercially. This looks like 
trim that was taken off or never put on a pillowcase. It's about pillowcase size and it's round and I think there's another one of these too. What's this? Oh, this is cute. It's an old tea towel. Silver. She's holding a knife. Yep, and that one is linen. I can tell. It's stained, it's discolored, but if you were to use just that section alone and it's, the whole thing is consistently discolored, then it's just kind of a vintage thing. And it looks like I have a second one. That's cute. It's the same the same little girl with a tomato and a, a carrot. Same discoloration. These aren't old, but I think these are just gonna go in my kitchen. These are just towels. Kitchen towels. I like coffee. So that, that'll be nice. Here's another one of these pillowcase pieces of lace. Here's another little runner. The wind's starting to pick up. This one's coming apart a little bit. There's discoloration. Cute little fence design. Okay, it looks like there was going to be a fence design on this one. It never was filled in. Piece of flannel. I don't know if it's a scrap of fabric or a piece of a sheet. Little flannel winter seam. Cute deer. This is a scarf and I don't think it's vintage, but I like the graphic on it. it has almost a, a Nordic feel to it, so I grabbed that. It's a really lightweight gauze. I don't know what the fiber content is. I'm assuming it's cotton. plain old stained linen. Uh, it's not looking good. I might throw this in a vat of dye. Just so I can cut it up and use it in something. Crocheted doily. Two-tone. Pretty simple. We got some shoulder pads here. I bought this for the fabric and these gorgeous buttons. This is linen and it's got a texture to it, like a floral damask texture. And there's quite a bit of yardage. 
I like the fact that there's no darts back here, so I can cut a nice quarter yard out of this for my drawer. But look at these beautiful, beautiful buttons. I'm gonna remove these. I'm gonna put these on my Etsy store if anybody's interested in using these for anything. I think they're shell. Yeah, the, the surface is shell. That's gorgeous. That was a good find. Anytime there's linen fabric, I'm on it. Another table runner. I don't know why there's a pin in it. Stained. One side is absolutely beautiful. Get in close so you can see that design. Since I'm paying for stuff by the pound, anytime these scarves come up, they go in the cart. I'm not really a scarf wearing person, but sometimes it's nice to just throw my hair back in one. But this print is just beautiful. There's a tag on it. It's 100% silk. Another scarf. Beautiful print. Absolutely beautiful graphics. And I think that part of what I like about the scarves is the graphics. And this one is silk. I don't even have to look at the label. I already can tell by the touch. This is some fabric that was cut off of a sheet. Maybe somebody needed the sheet to make a matching curtain, but this has never been washed and never been used and they tore it. So I'll probably put this into some kind of package. There's a little applique project. Bird house is a cute bird. Yeah, this might be commercially made because this is printed in. Yeah, this is fake. This green poppies, beautiful scarf. And this is silk. Let me know in the comments if you have any projects that you can use these silk, silk scarves to make anything. Here's a men's shirt that was kind of fun. There's fiber all over it. I don't think it's been washed. Look at these cute lobsters. It's not very big, so I'm not gonna be able to get much fabric off of it. Good fellow. Let's see. 
97% cotton. Good enough. Adorable. This is kind of nice. It's pretty densely crocheted and it feels like it's really good quality. It's got a little bit of discoloration. Hundred percent linen, European fabric, some linen pants. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. These are getting cut up. I've started collecting linen to make baby quilts. Okay, this is linen. Another table runner. A little stain. Flower basket. It's really pretty. Really soft colors. Burberry style scarf. I don't know if it's Burberry, but it's the colors, it's plaid. This is really lightweight. It might be cotton. It's gauze, it's an infinity scarf, and I'm sure this is not old. I got a chunk of batting. It's really thin, but that'll be nice for doing some of my mounted cross stitch on plastic. Rectangle. Looks like it's going to be a cloudy day, otherwise, the sun would be blaring at us right now. Another table runner. Peach and blue basket. I like this color combination, this is really cute. I should use this for inspiration for a little baby quilt. I like the peach. It's got a really thin crocheted edge to it. Lots of table runners. guy's missing his eye. I don't know what this fabric is. Oh, it's cotton. It's just a textured cotton. I think the trim is commercially made and added on. I just love these tablecloths. Just an all over design. I might keep this for myself. It's really good condition, very little staining. There's a little bit of staining, but it's light. This isn't old, this is just a polyester. curtain panel, but I thought it was kind of a cute design. A little 
ladybugs and bees on this scrap of fabric. Marcus Brothers it appears to be cotton. Yeah, this might be manufactured, I don't know, but it's cute. I got a ton of stuff in this Goodwill haul. I paid approximately $40. I had rounded up my balance because if you round it up, it just goes to their organization. I just don't care. But um, yeah, $40 and we're just halfway through one bag and I got three bags total. I think I'm just gonna do one bag per video. This feels like linen. This does not feel like cotton. It's got some cut work. Another, I don't know if it's, a, it's supposed to be a tea towel or a table runner, but it's got some creepy looking deer with no eye pupils. But check this out. I don't know what the story on this is, but this edge has been unraveled and then woven. a hole. Okay, the deer on that side don't look as creepy. Not dogs barking at somebody. A little piece of cross stitch. Becky dog's keeping us safe. Like somebody's walking on the street. A little bit of staining. Oh, there's a second one. Second one has got some holes. I'll probably just cut out this section and use it as a patchwork patch. is the best use for some of these that are really stained up. This looks like the end of a pillowcase that somebody saved before getting rid of the pillowcase. This is gorgeous handmade crocheted lace. I really don't know what this would have been used as unless it was a pocket. It'd be a cute pocket. It's linen. Speaking of linen, this is just a little shirt. A little linen shirt in a electric greenish yellow. I don't even know what this color would be. It would be like a light chartreuse. It's not green. It's not yellow. Might be the perfect thing for to match up with something somewhere down the line though. Here's another tablecloth. Little bit of staining. A 
I just really appreciate the graphic designs on these. Remember these little ornament panels, little Christmas ones? When I was a kid, these were just so much fun to, to make in the early days of sewing, back in the 70s, 80s. This Cranston Printworks VIP. This came from Woolco, Woolworths, Fun Sewables, $1.88. Easy to make stuffed dolls, pillows, and novelties. 100% cotton. It would be fun just to collect a bunch of these and make a quilt top. Just cutting out sections of fabric with these, including the instructions. I think that would be hilarious. All right, next is the item that I totally manifested. I was over at my friend Jenny's the other day and she had a lot of plants sitting inside and she's got a beautiful, beautiful window that's pretty deep. And I thought to myself, she needs some macrame. I found a macrame plant holder. So this will probably end up at her condo. Just a crocheted edge, little hanky, some variegated yellow. And this is the last thing in this bag. Cute little dimensional rose, maybe a coaster. Yeah. All right, I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I like, I just like looking at other people's stuff. You know, I watch other haul videos and it's not like I'm going to go out and seek out the stuff, but it's just fun to look at other people's stuff. So everybody have a great day.